can erase it and replace it. Hello friends, this is Shundal and today share some thoughts you have to think. If you erase something, then you know how to replace it. This is just a share from my own reading and of course from my own life experiences. But as the scripture says in Isaiah 23, 26.3, you can keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. When the negative thoughts comes, erase it and replace it with a positive, fit-filled thoughts from God's Word. Don't leave your mind empty. Get your mind going in the right directions and your life will go in the right direction. You're going to draw in what you're constantly thinking about. If you're thinking that you cannot do it, I'm not enough or this problem is too big. Thoughts are drawing in defeat. We have to understand that we must ask questions. It is important that we know how to ask questions. And those questions you have to answer it. If you are not contented of your answer, then erase it and replace it. Yes, many times we are struggling of different kinds of challenges and there's a lot why we have to face. Don't leave your mind empty. Get your mind going to the right direction and your life will go on to the right direction. It is a decision to make that you are going to change your life into a different kind of direction. You have to ask question, why don't you start erasing and replacing thoughts? How much farther will you go? How, more, how much more God's favor you will see if you guard your mind, if you are selective in what you are dwelling on, if you keep on staying on those negative thoughts, what thing you can gain? You have to understand that there is a place in our mind where we can stay our thoughts and abide in peace. Yes, God help us to unclutter our mind of all the negative thoughts and have, that have gotten in. We will do our part to stay in peace and lead step in and do your part. We have always a part we need to do in order for us to have that what we want. Many times I hear, I've been praying so many times and, and I did not get the answer of my prayer. And why is that? Because of the negative thoughts. Because you are dwelling on the negative things. Erase it and replace it with positive thoughts. Remember always, you have only one life to live. And life is too short. So therefore, we must be mindful of doing the good things which is good for us. Be mindful what is good for you today. What else you can do better for your life today. Be mindful to erase right away those doubt, those fears and those you know, negative thoughts. What is your mind stayed on? You are the one who is going to have that control. What thoughts are dwelling on throughout the day, you can control that, erase it, and replace it. Are your thoughts limiting you or empowering you? You have to be mindful with that. 
are your tooth stayed upon the pit and worry upon victory, favor, breakthroughs, and abundance that you have to analyze each word and erase it if you're not contented and replace it with good words. Instead of keeping our minds stayed, stayed in our problem on doubt, worry, Keep it stayed on what God has promised you. This is the thing I am sharing with you. Because we focus so much on the negative words or the negative thoughts. Erase that and replace that what is written in the scripture, what God has promised you. There are a lot of saying verses in the scripture, what he promised us. Go back to that. Erase those doubts, fears, and negative thoughts and replace it with the promising words of God from the scripture. Yes, replace it because you don't deserve to have a life with full of negativity. You have to remind that to yourself. This is Yundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I love you all and bye-bye.